Hello guys and welcome again to our Thursday testimonial time. Today we're going to have an incredible testimony. Uh, Tommy Mason will be giving us um, his experience of what that he's had with LifeWave. And um, I was talking to him a, a few minutes ago and it's incredible. Uh, you don't want to miss it. Stay tuned. But before that, I want to introduce you uh, one of my greatest friend and brother in the Lord that I really appreciate, David Allen. Um, who is going to introduce Tommy for us. Go ahead. Take it away, David. Thank you. And thanks, everybody, for being on the Zoom tonight. I just want to introduce a good friend of mine that I've known now for, well, about five years, six or longer than that. Yeah, longer than that. Uh, we were in a previous business together and uh, actually gave him the opportunity to look at this uh, a year ago. And just like you know, we always say timing is not is not right. Um, and Tommy just, you know, at that point was not not available to uh, to join us. But that was OK, because I did follow up. And uh, lo and behold, now he's uh, he's seen the light. No pun intended. Um, but uh, he's seen the light and his wife has seen the light. And I just I'm so proud to have him among our team. So. No further ado, Tommy Mason, take it away, buddy. Good evening, everybody. And thank you for this honor of being on your show with you. Um, 14 days ago, my wife and I um, started to detox. And by the way, I'm actually sitting in her sewing room. Uh, that's my surrounding and that's why it's pink because it's her room, not mine. But that's okay. But um, 14 days ago, we started detox and the first couple of days there wasn't any effect and she was uh even with me there wasn't any effect i was uh getting up in the morning and the third day was kind of weird because i had this film in my right eye it was all red and it felt like i had pink eye but it wasn't but it, that's what it felt like and then later on that morning it went away and then on the fourth day, I had more mental clarity. I felt like I was more alert. I was getting more energy. And I was doing pretty good because that, that's saying a lot for me. I mean, John, I'll tell you my age. I just turned 66 two days ago. And so for me to get mental clarity means a lot with all the people out there that have an Alzheimer's issue and stuff. And um, the biggest thing that happened for me was on the fifth day, I started dreaming again. And why is that important? Because I was only averaging about five or six hours of sleep a night. And that's the way it's been since 1992, ever since I got back from the Gulf War. I'd wake up every two hours, go back to sleep. I'd wake up every two hours, I'd go back to sleep. That's the way it was for me all night long. So I never reached REM sleep. And um, so that's a big issue for me because now I'm getting at least seven to eight hours of sleep. And I'm loving that. For me, that's a biggie. I'm sleeping better. I'm feeling better. And there was one night, um, and I'm going to leave it clean as I can, but it's important because I usually get up in the middle of the night and I have to use the bathroom. Well, the seventh night, I got up and went to the bathroom three times, but that was the only night that ever happened. And David told me that that would be is kind of like your body is filtering out all the toxins. Obviously, I'd gone through that. That's the only thing I can come up with. But um, on the eighth night or eighth day, I began to realize that Barbara was more relaxed. And I'm, I'm reading because I've got my notes because I took a journal of this. Every day I'd write down what was going on because my fabulous and great sponsor, David, had recommended me to take a journal. And so I, I'm trying to do everything he's telling me to do. It's paying off. But now that I'm sleeping seven hours, I'm enjoying life more. I'm more happier. I feel more refreshed, more alive. It, it's nice. And for me, that's the biggest thing that these patches are doing. And I, I did learn that X39 will help you sleep better. Hmm, figure that out. But uh, on the 10th night, I woke up in the morning, and, and this is really neat. I had a dream where I felt in this dream, it was where 
Uh, now I've been married, it'll be 42 years come March. And in this dream I had, it was where I was back dating Barbara years ago. And I started, we had an argument, we had a fight. And so she moved to Florida and I never saw her again. That that kind of scared me a little bit because that was that was a weird dream. But as I shared it to Barb and she said, well, that was a nightmare. <laughs> but um, yeah, my notes here. Yes. On the 10th day, I woke up in the morning and Barbara goes, did you hear that alarm clock that went off at four o'clock in the morning? I said, no. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, that's how much I was in those sleep. But later on that morning, about an hour later, I remembered that Barbara had said that. And then I remembered, yeah, I do remember her the alarm going off. But all I remember is just rolling over and going back to sleep. Why that's important is because when I'd get up every two hours in the middle of the night or you know, go to the bathroom, I'd have to go get on the computer for an hour and I have to be on the computer for an hour so I can get tired enough to be able to go back to sleep. So for me to hear that alarm and roll right over and go back to sleep, that's a godsend. I, I just love that. And um, the other thing was on the 11, I'm noticing that Barbara's hair is more fuller, more fluffier. It's affecting her hair. I mean, that was, that's good. <laughs> it's like she's going like David. She, she's going backwards in time. I'm loving that. And uh, there's been a couple of mornings when I've gotten up and I don't feel a need for coffee. And well, being in the Navy, I'm drinking Navy coffee. I, I love my coffee. But um, I just thought I'd throw it in there. But that was me. Now, here's Barbara and what she went through. But before I do that, excuse me, I want to give you a list of what Barbara has been experiencing medically wise. And before I do, I want y'all to know that for the last 15 years, that's all I've done is taken Barbara to the doctors. And all they do is the same thing over and over every time. There are times when we go to doctors three or four times a week. It's incredible. But all they do is the same thing. They give her pills, send her on, on her way. Amazing situation. Enough of that. But here's the th symptoms that Barb is experiencing for the last 15 years. She's got arthritis. She's got silent acid reflux. And that really took us going to a college level medical system to find that one out. Because there were three or four doctors that had no idea what that woman had with the silent acid reflux. She got dry eyes. She had a heart attack about a year ago. Everything's fine. She got a stent. She fractured her back. She fell in the shower one day, slipped. She's got allergies. She's now allergic to dogs. She found out she's allergic to cats. She's got asthma. She's had that for a long time. I remember going way back, I would find her in the mall. Oh, there she is because she's coughing and I can hear her cough. I could locate her anywhere in the store. Oh, I just got to listen for her cough because of her asthma. She's got what's called vagal nerve sensitivity. And what that does is whenever she's around certain odors, she gets a reaction to it and her throat begins to close out and she can't breathe. That was to me was a big one. And she's also got sleep apnea. So she has to use that machine on her um, while she sleeps. So those are all the things that she's been affected by and has had to deal with for the last 15. And some of the, with the asthma, it was over 20 years. So now I want to give you a rundown of what she's gone through in the last 14 days, her experiences. On day one, well, she felt great all day long without no side effects. The first night, she had no side effects. Day three, 
she's got no pain in her hip because that's where the arthritis was in her hip and in her shoulder. So she had no pain in her hip and shoulder night three. On day five, she had some pain in the night, but when she got up in the morning, the pain was gone. Same thing on day six, a little bit of pain in her hip and shoulder, but when she got up, it was gone. And on day eight, she woke up with a little bit of pain, the same pain, that, but it went away again after she got up, same process that happened several days. But on day nine, big change. <laughs> now, Barbara likes to watch the TV because that's basically all she can do. She sits on the couch and watches TV all day or she reads a book, gets on the computer because of the pain in her hip or you know, she just doesn't feel she's tired, stuff like that. Why is... I'm looking, yep, day nine. Why is it a big deal? Because day nine, she got up and did laundry. She worked on her computer. She cooked dinner. For her, that's a big one. For me too, she's a really great cook. I miss her cooking. And then on day 11, she slept with a little bit of pain. Got up the next day, it was gone. And some pain in her arm a little bit that day, but not in her hip. And she is now also sleeping eight hours without any more pain. Because that's usually where the pain would show up. It'd show up during the night, but when she got up, it was gone. On day 15, she slept all night without any pain. Last night, on the night the 16th, she had to wear an ice wave all night to help her sleep, and it did. Because her sponsor was telling her, just throw an ice wave on there. That would help you out. We were learning about the products. Today, I asked her, how are you feeling? Oh, she says, I feel great. I have no pain, no headache. Everything's fine. That's what happened to us during these 14 days. And we got one day left tomorrow. And it's exciting. I'm 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 happy for that. Thank you. That that was incredible. I love the dates and I love the journal. And thank you, David, for um letting him know to do that because why it is important. And I always tell people that it micro changes in our body are very hard to detect. And days go by, you're like, pain is like a ghost. Pain is in our head, right? And when that pain travels to a part of our body and that pain's no longer there, your brain's like, whoa, whoa, wh what's happening here? You, you, your brain can't comprehend that change. But when you journal it, then you can time it and see, hey, there are some dramatic changes happening in our body. And I just, I'm so incredible, thankful for you, Tommy, and for your wife, Barbara, for going through this journey. I'm going to tell you guys what we always do, our one, two, three, you know, we put an E on Ice Wave X39, balance it with the maintenance in X39 for the rest of my life. That's what I'm going to do. But what we do most importantly, guys, is that we do the cellular regeneration protocol and the severe symptoms protocol. We have Dr. Caroline on the call right now. And I, I know that her and other doctors in our business tell people and really highly recommend people to do the cellular regeneration protocol. And if they have a severe symptom, to do the severe symptoms protocol. So many testimonies have happened because of that. And today, just want to thank Tommy because your enthusiasm and 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 your your ability to just be so excited about this products it's like a flame that's starting us all up again because you got to remember this journey started 15 years ago when we <laughs> went to the doctor every week and all he could do is give us medicine and drugs and and for this product to come along it's a godsend for our family here Wow. Did you no hear that? It's a God sent. It's God sent. We really, as a pastor, I really believe that God has given us yep. 
this um, this technology, you know, where um, Dr. K uh, Christine sends me videos all the time and you guys uh, wait till I put them together because they're going to be shorts and they're going to be just giving God honor and glory because it belongs to him. Last night, um, actually two nights ago, I was at church and um, I'm, I'm a staff pastor. So our senior pastor called us all forward to pray for people. And Pastor Blaine, my, my senior pastor, felt led of the Lord to pray for people with lower back pain. And as people were coming, like, I don't know, 40, 50 people were coming forward to get prayer. Um, I remember a thing that the Lord spoke to me. This is a year and a half ago. Because I was contemplating, if you guys uh, go to a particular church or a place of worship or a place that you that you, that you honor God, and the supernatural happens. I've seen people, you know, wait, throw away their wheelchair, their walking stuff, and and seen people being cured of cancer and all kind of stuff. I'm, I mean, just incredible testimonies. What happens uh, when God shows up? So I'm contemplating whether or not is this is this technology going to interfere with with what God is doing in His home. And the Lord spoke to my spirit and he said, in the morning, you heal my people with your patches. But at night, he says, talking about that night service that I was in, he says, you use my glory. So what that meant to me, and everybody can have different interpretations of it, but what it meant to me was that God was honoring our technology because it's helping his people, guys. We are the we are God's hands. We are his body, and we're to go and help everybody. I was on the call with Isa a few minutes ago um, with, with a lady, a friend of hers that has a sciatica pain. And, you know, she misused it, and we were able to square that away. And she was so happy because she was saying, this is a miraculous thing. And, of course, we can't claim that this heal, treat, or prevent any diseases, you know, because we will get in trouble. But in my country... They call our patches a miracle patch in Honduras and a lot of other countries, you know, because that's what they do. They, they create this incredible um, feelings of our body. You know, what, what, what Tommy was talking about, like he's 66 years old and he feels like he's more alive. You know, I'm, I'm 51 and I, I look at my wife, guys, you guys that are on the call and, and you, want, you want your wife to look young. Give her as many patches as she wants. And she puts on 10, 15 patches. I say, honey, do you need more? Because I see the change in her body. I see the change in her skin. I see the change all over her, you know? And of course, you have to exercise. You have to eat well. You have to drink a lot of water. So there's a lot of things that we have to do, right? To take care of the only body that God has given us. And, and she is famous to say this, that, that we are our own advocates, our health advocates, and we have to take care of our bodies. And thank you, Tommy, and thank you, Barbara, for taking care of your bodies and, and for doing something that we highly recommend. So I'm going to get back to what I started talking about earlier before. We do the one, two, three, but we highly recommend the cellular regeneration. And some people might say, that's too expensive. $500 for two people, Woo! But you can go to eat dinner with a couple and spend five, six hundred dollars easily. Trust me, we do that, right? Easily. So what it the way that we have to counter or or not debate, I, I hate debating, but the way that we can talk through this obstacle that people said is too expensive, we say compared to what? What is out there? Tommy, for 15 years you went to doctors three or four times a week sometimes. I'm with you, brother. I did the same thing with my wife. You know, we went doctor to doctor to try to figure out what was going on with her. And and, and she had a list, just like your long list of Barbara's uh, uh, things that were happening to her body. That's what Vicky was having. And at, at first, I'm like, Vicky, is this in your head? Are you like, are you okay? Do we need to do something, you know, more intensive than just going to doctors? We were at our wit's end. You know, the last thing that we, and this is similar to, I don't want to take away from you, Tommy, what was happening with you, but we're men, <clears throat> we want to fix our wives. We want to help, right? Because that's what we do with our hands. We fix things, but we know that we can't. 
And so when this technology was introduced to us, it was like, <laughs> praise the Lord, hallelujah. I can now help my wife help herself and, and, and help her body because that's the one thing that we want the most out of it, right? To help our loved ones and to help our families and friends. And so oh, yeah. by recommending that cellular regeneration, all these things, Tommy, you gave me a list of things. And, and David, I was taking notes. I wasn't on my phone. I always take notes <laughs> because this is important to me. This is incredible. This is that, you know, you might say, was well, this anecdotal? You know, this doesn't, you, you can't program it in, in the, in, in the clinical study to me, guys, this is more than anecdotal. This is incredible testimonies that you guys are giving, I it up. you know, and, and I love it. I love it, Tommy. You did a great job. Kudos to you, David. Thank you for reminding him to do the, the, the journal entries. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to make this video and it's going to be, it, it's going to go viral because you are sensational, Tommy. You, you are, you know, I, I told Vicky that um, you, you have so much charisma and enthusiasm that it really ought to elevate us to the next level. You know, um, I saw a video today that Brother Lorenzo sent me and there was this lady, she's a, 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 a trainer and a, a bodybuilder. And she says, people say to her, how do you look so good? And she says, the power of the patch. You know, that's all that she <laughs> said. Her name is Renee. She goes, the Amen power to of the that. patch. And, you know, that's, that's right. what we got to do. We, we got to thank God for, for this technology and, 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 and just help people out there. There are so many millions of people hurting. Their bodies are falling apart. Age takes it. Age is a disease, guys. We don't have to age anymore. Did you hear that? Let me repeat that again. We don't have to age anymore. And more importantly, we don't have to grow old with all these diseases that, 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 that take upon our body because of all the toxins. Understand this, guys. Toxicity in our body and all the, all the stuff that's in our body creates cancer, uh, arthritis with all the inflammation, mm -hmm. all the things that you can think about that older people are, are, are having problems with. It's being created by the lack of stem cells in our body and the lack of being us uh, to, to, to be able to, to, to renew our stem cells. So we're, we're, rever we're, we're not stopping aging, guys. We're actually reversing aging. And I, you know, I look at myself and I'm like, I just thank God because, you know, there'll be a time where our kids, we're going to catch up to our kids, you know, and I'm not talking about <laughs> Benjamin Button type of thing, but you know what? If we're healthy, if I feel great, you know, I wake up early in the morning sometimes and I get get to work and do all, a lot of different things that, that, that we do throughout the day and I still have energy. Like, you know, sometimes I do want to crash and take a little nap, my little siesta every now and then, but I just thank God because he's given us this technology. And Tommy, thank you again. Uh, you were great at, at, at this testimonial. I know I, you, you look like, you weren't even nervous at all. You did a great job. And uh, and I just want to thank you for that. You're welcome. Let me give you one more thing to think about too, though. I was going to do the sleep um, patch. But after hearing this lady give a testimony, I changed it to the X39 because I'm 66, but I'm not on any medication. And I don't have any issues. But I want to keep it that way. That's why I'm going to the X39. And this is what changed my mind. This testimony I heard from this lady on Telegram, she was 72 years old. And she went to the doctor. And the doctor, now she's been on the patch for a year now, the X39 patch. She went to the doctor and he did an annual check on her and checked her blood. And he said, there must be a mistake. She says, what do you mean? She goes, this blood that I got from you, it's of a woman that's 40 years old. She's 72. That's why I got to go on this. I got to stay on the X39. <laughs> yeah. Because I don't want to lose the health that I got. I've been blessed. And it's just kind of like Barbara's just the opposite of me. She's got all these ailments. I'm the other way. I can't say any more than that. It's awesome. Praise God. 72 year old woman. She's got the blood of four years old. Yeah. <laughs> You can't beat that one.
you know, no. there, there's a clinical study uh, that actually, David, David, you want to share with us uh, something? I heard you talk. No, 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 go ahead. So uh, there's a clinical study actually that um, David Schmidt uh, was talking to us about it, that um, there's actual cardiovascular change in our body when we use mm -hmm. um, X39 and now it's clinically proven. So um, I believe that if, if you use the technology for six months, um, there, there is a change in our body for like eight years. So um, it's incredible, guys. I mean, we, we have the cookie. We have what, uh, what is helping people. And at the same time, we can make a little money on the side. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that.